Since I can't be here during Carnival, Andre takes me to watch the rehearsal of Orchestra Boadora, one of Rio's well-known samba brass bands as they gear up for next year's party. The entire group is made up of volunteers. There are no auditions and no fees. If you can read music, you're in. The orchestra aims to spread the message of social equality and empowerment through free music for its members and their audience. Coming from my culture, it's hard to understand that these are not paid performers. But that's what Andre loves about his city. The people still do what they like, you know? People still people have their jobs and like go downtown, work seven, five, six, seven days a week. And they, stu they still do like what they're passionate for, you know? Just for fun. They don't get paid for that, but still do it regularly. Look, I get this isn't a concept exclusive to Rio, but it's still hard for my tightly wound brain to grasp. And there's no pressure to, yeah. you know, like, to and make it, a living and turn it into work. I mean, you and I lived in L.A. at the same time. You know what it's like for people to... We, ha we seem to have this um, pervading philosophy that if you, if you really enjoy doing something, you should try to do it for a living. Yeah. You know, instead of just doing something because you enjoy it. Just you happen to be good at it and you want to... That's why we started doing the first place, right? Not yeah. for money, yeah. just for fun. All walks of society here seem to encourage people to pursue their artistic passions in a culture that's open and supportive. But that largely depends on what your passion is. One of Andre's favorite pastimes wasn't welcomed the way the performing arts are until recently. A couple of years ago, it would be like cops, chasing skaters, this kind of thing would be impossible. Like if even if you're like just one skater cruising around, it'd be a big deal. You get tickets, they will run after you. But if all the skaters got together and like, this is what's going on right now. Pretty amazing. Rio seems so fun loving and accepting to me. I'm surprised that the subculture of skateboarding was shunned for so long. How did they get the authorities to back off then? I mean, oh, it was a long process. Like, I would say at least four years fighting, yeah. a lot of things happened. Like skateboarders around the world, they had to convince their town they weren't a menace to society intent on destroying the city. The building of small skate parks like this one in Praça Quince downtown are proof that both sides are willing to work it out. I gotta get my stroke back. <laughs> at least now Andre's free to find his stroke just like Rio's musicians and artists are. So everyone can enjoy doing their thing. Because, after all, it's impossible to live in a city like Rio and don't enjoy your life, you know? 